Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find the angle between two directions of the two points in here. The first thing we need to draw the diagram to illustrate. This one that is about 3D. So here is about the plane in here. Let's say the angle of the hill side that is about 28 degrees. But a person with the wearing ski, they will go in this way. So let's say this is about the bottom of the hill. They go from here to here. So, the angle between the red light and uh, this line here, that is about 12 degrees to the horizontal. So, that's about this one. And the person without the ski, they will go the green line in here. So the red light and the green light in this one, they are on the same. So the angle between this line and this line here, that is about 5 degrees. And the question they want to find this one, the blue angle in here. And now I will show you the technique how to answer. The first thing, I will put this point here that is about 8. B, this point in here that is about C, D, and E. So I will put A, B that is about the small A in here. Now, we consider about the triangle A, B, E. So we have the angle 8 that is about 28 degrees. So the triangle A, B, E, they have the right angle at B. So we can use about 10 in here. So Tang of 28 degrees that is about opposite divided by adjacent. The opposite that is about BE, and we want to find BE in here. So we put adjacent go to the left, and we have a tang of 28 degrees. Now let's consider the triangle E, B, C. We can see that we have the right angle at B in here. But for the triangle E, B, C. So that means we have tan of 12 degrees. That's it, the red angle in here. And we have opposite divide by adjacent and the next one we want to find the line CE so that should be about so we use about side of 12 degrees we have opposite divide by hypotenuse so that means we don't need to use this one and we just focus about this one. 
So hypotenuse that is about C E. So we have opposite that is about B E. We just calculate in here. Now we can do similar for the green angle that is about D E B. And this one we use about side of 5 degrees so we can find about D E in here. The next one, we need to find the length of DC. So, if you want to find the length of DC, we need to find the length of DP and CP. Later that, we can find the length of DA and CA. So, this one, we return back to two triangles in here. So, in this case, we need to find DB. So we use about 10 of 12 degrees. We have opposite divided by abstraction. So they want to find about D, B, and C, B in here. About C, B. That is about abstraction on the red triangle E, C, B. So C, B, we have A tan of 28 degrees divided by tan of 12 degrees similar for this one that is about db After we have this one, we need to consider the triangle CPA. We want to find CA. We know CB and AB. We can find about CA. That is about Pythagorean theorem. So, that should be about C A square plus A B square. Equals to C B square. So C A square. We have C B square minus A B square. Then we put the square root for the both side. So CB, that is about the value of this one in here. AB, that is about 8. Now, we can do similar for the triangle DB8. And this one, we want to find about D8 
and now we want to find DC. That is about D8 minus C8. So that should be like this. D8 we have this one. And C8 that is this one. Now we consider about the triangle D E C. We know that the formula between about two lines, three lines with this angle in here, that is about this is where equals to D is where plus E C square minus two D E E C cosine of the angle D E C and now we can find the angle cosine of D E C So that should be about this one minus this one. Then divide by two d e e c. And if you want to find this at the blue angle. We need to use about a cosine of this one. So we have DE that is about this one. EC that is about this one and DC that is about this one so if we put all the numbers in here and we have 15 point 59 degrees and that is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching